Hello everybody, welcome. Well, it's getting towards the end of the afternoon here in Pennsylvania. And um, just got a few a few things to finish off here uh, on my wheel. Gonna need a banding wheel, which I'm gonna get. So the banding wheel, I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to be using that in a minute. I've got here four pots that I want to finish off. They're all they're all different. Uh, just stuff that I've been making, bits and bobs. And uh, so let's move the camera down here onto the wheel head, and we'll get on with it. So. I'll turn off that fan over there. I'm making a, a whirry noise in the background. Yeah. So I'm here on the wheel and um, I've got a, pot, a couple of pots that I need to um, need to trim. This is a pot I made yesterday, it's just a bowl. With an impressed, with an impressed design on the side, and uh, it, it's it needs to be trimmed. So we're just going to do that quickly. Center him up. That's it. You may see this dark line appear as I trim. That's because the clay was um, very ro very rotted down, if you know what I mean. It was very, very well rotted in the bin before I reclaimed it. And um, it was actually a grayish color. Of course, after you've made the pot, it oxidizes. The oxygen in the air changes the color of the grayness back to its the actual color of the clay. But when I cut in with a tool here, it's revealing again the, the dark rottedness color of the... Of course, because this is squared off, um, it's not. It doesn't. They they don't stick down so well. Pots that are squared off on the lip on the rim. Just so you know. And um, that's always I'm trimming. You see with a, a finger. Place. Going to cut in now, trimming out the foot. Thank you. 
So, there it is. Squared off bowl with an impressed design in the side. You're probably thinking of oh, some, some religious significance, it, it isn't. It's actually a water filter out of a water filter jug with, and the end of it I've just pushed into here. But by, by putting my hand on the inside and then pressing this in when it's wet has left the imprint of that. Okay, so that's that's one thing I needed to do. Good idea, go over the rims of your pots when you've had them face down. That's that little number. What's next? Next, I've got here, it's a very thickly thrown, it looks like a thickly thrown dish, doesn't it? Doesn't have much form. Well, we're going to now give it some form. We're not actually going to change the inside, but we're going to change the outside and we're going to change the foot. So, let's do that now. We're going to put him on the wheel. Face down, tap centre. I'm going to reduce the width of the foot at this point. Cutting in here creating a carved foot this clay body has actually got some tooth to it, some grittiness you can probably hear my, 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 my trimming tool, you can probably hear it cutting into the clay and you can hear the, the grog and grits of the clay. Okay, well we trimmed it there somewhere. I've got to test the thickness here. All right. Still a bit more to do there. Now going to cut in here, empty out the foot ring. You notice the wheel speed is not excessive. I don't like a high wheel speed when I'm trimming. It doesn't give any character to the the work if it's if the wheel is going too far. So maybe you need to slow down a little bit. I'm not saying you have to slow down until you stop. Before I get a barrage of letters. <laughs> Oh, but Simon. Okay, so, and don't forget, put a, a bevel on your corners. You don't want to leave any sharp edges. It doesn't, doesn't look good. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the 
expanding wheel. Because what we're going to do with this, yep, you guessed it. What we're going to do with it is we are going to use my uh, cheese slicing tool to facet it. And when you're going to when you're going to facet, it, it's a good idea to use a banding wheel and move the pot to the edge of the banding wheel. Okay, so that you've got you've got freedom to cut right down. If the pot is left in the middle like that, when you're doing the cut, you get almost to the bottom and you, you, can't, you can't continue it because your hand touches the wheel. So bring, bring the pot to the side like that. Oh, hello dragonfly. Got a big dragonfly in here. Okay. So now we're going to use this and I'm just going to cut right down through that. So you do one cut, okay, and then what you want to do is dot directly opposite you do the next cut. Okay. Try and get it exactly opposite. Cut number two. Okay, now we're going to take it and put it at 90 degrees. And we're going to do a cut on a quarter of the way around here. That's about it, I think. When you start the cut, don't hesitate. Keep going. Okay, that is vitally important. Okay. See where the flats are? You want to go halfway between. All right, all the way down through. Okay, so so far, so far we're looking like that. What we're now going to do is the cuts. You know, sometimes I leave pots with just four cuts like that because I, I, I actually quite like them with just four but I'm going to see if we can do make it eight pot is getting noticeably lighter now in weight. Now that's given me, I think, hope you can see that. I'm not happy though with the way some of these, you see when you get, when you get to a certain width here, when you get to a certain width, the distance across here is not quite wide enough to, and it doesn't cut quite deep enough to, 
Now, I don't know if you can see, but some of these, it hasn't quite met up there in the middle, you see? So that leaves me with a feeling of being not 100% happy with that. Neither that one. That one's okay. That one's not okay. And that one's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do where it's, where it's met or not met quite as I wanted it to. I'm going to give it another cut right in the middle there. So that's going to, we're going to cut right across there. Oh. And I'm beginning to think this is not turning out exactly as I like, but anyway. So I'm cutting off the corners now, you see effectively giving it another flat. We'll see what it looks like in a minute. I'm thinking I'm not going to... I'm possibly not going to like it as much as if it... Well, you see for yourself, form your own opinion. Um, it's now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, sixteen. It's now got sixteen flats on it as opposed to eight. I would have preferred it to have had eight, I think. So anyway, um, I'm going to seal it. When you seal through on the bottom of a pot, Keep your fingers on this side and you'll feel the seal pushing. So you need to, to counter push sometimes where the seal is. All right. Especially if the bottom is a little thin. The bottom of this is not, not thin, but it's, I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, that. Okay, so we've removed all that material there off the pot using the um, the cheese cutter. Now this kind of this sort of pot looks actually very good in a in a temaku glaze where the glaze is breaking on the corners, and it could it could actually come out look, looking very nice in actual fact although I was a little bit um, unsure that happens sometimes though doesn't it you, you make something and then you okay I'm going to do these two cylinders I'm just going to put a bit more of a bevel here on the on the base on the, on the corner here. On that fella, and also this number. Okay, let's get the banding wheel back. We're gonna do the same thing again so this is actually only going to be a four cut, not a eight. All right, so if your tool has got clay on it, clean the clay off between cuts. Okay. Okay, it's the same thing again. 
set with this, it's a longer cut. Okay, remember overhang the pot so the cut can continue. You have to follow through with the tool. <clears throat> okay, we've done the one cut. Same thing again, we're going to bring it to the other side of the banding wheel and we're going to put the tool and judge it across, looking across so that it's right opposite the first cut. Okay, are we good to go? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You start your cut and don't hesitate. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to turn it one more time. Again, clean the tool. Hold the pot here on the banding wheel. <clears throat> He's taken off a good slice of clay. Turning it around again, clean the tool. Okay, so that's taken your cylinder, which was thrown a little thickly, and just cut down. Now I'm going to let this, I'm going to do some finishing off work here on the base here with a, a fettling knife. We'll do that in a minute. Got another one to do. So hold it. Bring it to the edge, hold the, the tool firmly in your hand and you're going to start the cut by pushing down and then you'll feel it give and then you're going to follow that through without hesitation all the way. Okay, find the opposite face, clean the tool. Hold the tool. And down. Turn it 90 degrees. Take a sip of tea. <laughs> Clean the tool. Firmly start cutting, push, continue down, 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 in focus, and we are in the picture. And, um, yeah, let's just have a look to see if we're in the picture. Oh, yes, we are indeed. Let me just focus in a little bit there on the just on the, the top. So, I'm going to get a fettling knife and I'm going to just finish off the
finish off the top here. So what we're going to do is just here, I actually just carry this because where this has come, it's got like a sharp edge now here, here on four places. So I'm going to use the fettling knife to continue the 45 degree angle that I put there earlier. I just cut across like that. Just to soften the edges with a moist finger, but nothing more. No pressing down or any other business, okay? So, let's just, um, let's just show you what I've done in a bit more detail. I, I think you can see what I've done. I did these flats didn't like here. What we're now going to do is I'm going to put my seal I'm going to put my seal here and then I put my made in my made in China. No, sorry. Slip of the tongue. USA. Let's start making pots and putting USA on them, shall we? grow the economy back again. It's been hijacked, hasn't it, by China. So, that's that. Let's just pull back a sec, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, um, I've got one more to do, didn't I? So I'm just gonna do that one quickly. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So putting him back on there, just continuing this bevel, but putting it here where we've made a cut. Okay, all right, and then just with a moist finger, just brush it over the sharp edges. We want to keep the edges though, the vitality of the freshly cut clay, we want to keep that character, we don't want to smudge it all away. All right, so that's all we're doing, there's nothing, nothing more. Make a seal, USA. And that's it. Always work cleanly, clean off wheel heads, wear boards, because you know when you're putting pots down, they pick up bits, they get, leaves impressions. Clay is very impressionable. Okay folks, that's it. <laughs> you can go and have your supper now. Or go to bed. <laughs> Keep practicing. See you soon. Dee, 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 dee.